ever said or written one of the following statements? This is the best event ever. You're the kindest person I know. I value your opinion more than anyone else's. These proclamations are often innocent sentiments bestowed on someone or something you appreciate. By all accounts, they seem to be an authentic compliment given to someone or something you admire. The receiver of the compliment surely is appreciative of such an overwhelming and possibly over-exaggerated statement. Let's assume the compliment is authentic and the person is in fact done the best, is the kindest, or of most value to you. That may be well and good until such proclamation is made publicly. What possible implications could there be of you showing appreciation by saying, this is the best event ever, you're the kindest person I know, I value your opinion more than anyone else's? I have the displeasure of seeing such statements appear in many social feeds, particularly on Facebook. By publicly making such statements, of appreciation, particularly amongst your Facebook friends, we may be offending one person in order to appreciate another. I like to call this the appreciation crossfire. In order to give such a compliment, you are using a public comparison. This comparison by nature means one person, item, or issue must be better than the other to have value to you. This is particularly inappropriate when such a proclamation is being made when people volunteer their time, energy, and insight. It inadvertently dismisses everyone who had contributed to that event in the past or suggests others are not as kind or other opinions are not as valued. Appreciation is such a wonderful way to celebrate someone's contribution. So absolutely do it and do it often and of course, do it authentically. How can you appreciate someone specific without getting anyone caught in the appreciation crossfire? Perhaps instead of using comparative language, use conclusive language instead. This event is fabulous, like always. You are such a kind person and blessed to have you in my life. I value your opinion as you bring in a unique perspective. Now, is one compliment more appreciative than another? I'll leave that to you decide. My guess, everyone else who you've complimented and using the first form in compared to the second form may prefer not being compared to others when you give a compliment. Next time you want to appreciate somebody publicly, such as at a board meeting, leading your team or social media, think about how can I appreciate someone while not offending anyone in the process? Bonus, you'll probably have more people to appreciate as more people will feel appreciated. Thanks for being the best audience ever. I mean, thanks for being a fabulous audience. This is Suzanne F. Stevens, Conscious Contribution Cultivator of the Yumi and We Group. Until next week Wednesday, make your contributions count.